Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a great question that I saw a couple times over the past few weeks, but most recently I saw it in a survey where uh, I, I was asked, basically, um, what do you spend more time on over time? Is it uh, writing blog posts initially or updating them over time? And it really challenged me, it really made me think about it, I would say for probably about 50% of the blog posts that I write, some of them don't get updated, you know, they don't get substantially updated over time. There might be like little adjustments that I make, might, you know, take out broken links, um, you know, maybe I referenced a site over here and, and that web address is no longer existing so I have to point it somewhere else. But the other 50% of the blog posts out there, those end up getting updated and specifically uh, you know anything that's answering questions or if they're tutorials or things like that those end up taking a lot of time and I can tell you over the last few years over the last like three or four years the articles that have uh, two of the articles I should say that have gotten a lot of my traffic probably two of the top four posts that have gotten the most traffic for my site or one it's about answering questions about the uh, rating stars or the review stars in Google My Business and then the other one uh, is a chart of the brand colors for social media <clears throat> um, platforms so as obviously as more questions come in on the one I end up updating information or I end up answering comment questions um, and so new content gets added to that page all the time and I think of the comments on that, I think there's well over 100, I'm not even sure how many it is, 120 comments or something like that. I'm not, I'm not particularly sure, but I mean, answering comments on that page for, for a long time, and sometimes I need to update information because Google updates how they do review stars. For example, in the three-pack map, for a long time, they would only uh, show the review stars if you had three reviews. And then they made it to where it was just one. So obviously at that point, I had to update the article. Um, you know, in the social media uh, color chart, that's another one. I think at first um, I started with, I'm not even sure how many brands, it might've been like 16 or something like that. I think right now it's got like 42 or yeah, something like that. And sometimes, you know, brand colors change. Like the last change, Facebook uh, changed the color of their, their icon uh, now, some of the other the colors that they use are still in place, but I had to make that change. Twitter changed their colors, uh, the, the, the official brand color, <clears throat> a couple of years ago. Some of these other things make changes over time, so that's when you need to make changes. Or other platforms like Google Plus or Vine, they end up being retired. They're shuttered. They're no longer in use. Um, and so that's an example of a page that needs to get updated. Sometimes I add more things to it. Um, one of the things that I added to that was adding, you know, SAS and less variables, which is something that programmers would use or CSS writers would use. And so that made that, that page more useful over time. So the same thing applies to you. And what I'm saying is if you go back and you update your posts over time, what's going to happen is uh, Google is going to see that you are um, adding more information to that, it might be more likely to rise up in the ranks if you're adding more relevant information and or if people are asking questions uh, related to that, if you add that information into the article itself, then at some point that article, that blog page uh, might rise in the rankings because again, it's, it's adding more information to the page. So I think this is a lesson here. Now some pages that you put on your site, they might not uh, have a lot of, of stuff to add, uh, but maybe you make a video that accompanies the written text that you've already made. Maybe you made a, a written blog post. And then maybe you have some other information that you wanna add to it. Maybe uh, you add like a chart or a table or something like that. Maybe you have a video that accompanies it. Maybe you have a, you know, audio recording of it. I don't know. But you add that to the, the actual page and over time, 
it's, it's going to add more information. I do think it's important to revisit blog posts when you have more information and if something changes or if something updates, uh, then, then add that extra information. Also go back and look and see how you can improve pages, whether it's making it look a little bit better. Um, I, I put this in SEO audits before too. You know, it's, it's great to have a page, but if, if other people are doing a version of that page, but they're doing it better and making it look better and presenting basically the sort of the same information, but in a better looking way, then it's time for you to do the same and maybe clean that up and, and make it look better. So updating posts, in my opinion, is uh, just as important as writing a great blog post to begin with. The more that you update the information, the more that you, you know, make that page better, present it better, um, you know, add current information, the better it's going to be for your rankings. And I hope that answers that question. But yes, update your blog posts on a regular basis. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. We're here every single day answering questions. Would love to see you subscribe. That's all I have for now. Until next time, peace.